Hi guys, it's Steve here again, uh, showing you through the new OWL interface. We're going to talk about the settings now, which, as normal, is not always the most pretty thing to see, but we have done quite a nice job at making it look a lot better. The biggest thing we've done is reorganized most of these, these different options, which are now on the left-hand side, into sub-tabs of their own. As you remember, most of the different settings were big long lists of things and blocks, and it was a kind of frustrating. We've taken this opportunity to reorganize a lot of that, move them into tabs so that you can edit the things you need to edit without having to worry about everything else. So, in the practice details, we've got your basics, which are your logo, your address, your information for the practice itself. You already know what this is. Same is true for calendar and rooms. We've given you some calendar settings right here. And if you are a group edition, you have ability to have your rooms in place. Okay, so that is there if you need it. Okay, we can enable rooms, make changes, add the rooms, and so on. Your therapist settings have also been adjusted a little bit, so you have them all organized in one nice spot, whether you can see the calendars, where you can see the schedules. If you're in group edition, this is really important for you. And your administrator settings as well. We don't have too many of them at this point. We are going to be adding more later on, and that's why we've brought in this tab here, so that we can add them without cluttering up the main screen. Your therapist details have also changed. Uh, you see, we, again, we do have a filter available for you here. We do have the ability to go in and see the, client, the therapist too. For the most part, it's the same information. You will notice down here at the bottom that availability has changed to a graphical interface. All you need to do now here is just drag and drop the availability. I can do that like this. Change when I am available on my calendar, making sure that it does come out correctly. I can drag and drop new ones if needed. I can click on it and delete it. So we can remove it. There we go. I can much more easy than the previous system, which was a little bit clunky, though it worked quite well. This will help it out quite a lot. I also want to point out another thing that a lot of people have asked for. This is the first stage. We are looking to bring more feature functionality, but you are now able to actually select the color of your therapist on your calendar. Now remember, this is not service by service. That is an often requested feature, but we do this therapist by therapist. Previously, we used to only have a set list of 16 colors for the calendar. This meant that any practices that had larger than 16 therapists would then get double colors, and we didn't want to keep that going. You can now select colors here by picking it, and it changes accordingly, and it will change it on the calendar. You can also add in what's called a hex code. You can find all sorts of websites that let you pick a color, and it gives you this little six-letter or six-character code with a hashtag. They can be numbers up to nine and letters up to, I believe, G. You can put them in there and create your custom color. For instance, if I go here and I put in, let's put in FF0099. You see what I've got there. That's what the color is. That's what I'm going to be on the calendar. Let's update that therapist. Cool. Once I've updated them, let's close the window down. We head up to my practice details. Ooh, Dean hasn't changed yet. I believe actually, yeah, there we go. Totally different color now because I've changed the color on my settings. Nice new feature. A lot of people have been asking about that, especially in group edition. So let's head back to our settings, move on to the next one. Therapist grades, for those of you in group edition, you know what therapist grades do. They do let you group your therapists based on uh, whatever you want them to be. That way you can apply specific services to those particular session, uh, to those particular therapists. Same thing is true, though if you did make any of them inactive or you removed a service, we now make them visible for you. If I select this and I set inactive, it will be visible for us with a filter. So there we go, close this down. We can see our status, make the inactive ones, and that way I can go back to it and I can make it active again. Because we don't want you to have to delete them and accidentally maybe remove the right th th service, we want to make sure you have the ability to undo that change as easily as possible. Moving on from there, of course, the services and fees does let you create your services and fees, as always. Not much in this case has changed too much, but we will talk about how taxes will be applied to these going forward. We're also going to talk about how the fee works as well, the fee discount on a client-by-client -client basis. Uh, for those using our online portal, online portal in this case, I didn't turn it on. Settings are pretty much the same. We've just reorganized them, made a little bit prettier as well. Your payment details has been given a facelift, and we will talk about this when we talk more about the taxes, but notice we do have the ability to enable them and put in a tax message. This will be made more detail a little bit later on in the tax video, but this is where you would enable it here. And if I scroll down, you can see as well, we do have, as we have on the current system, the ability to change the, the default invoice and email message along Inside your footers as well uh, on the invoice and receipts so that your message will be customized for your practice if you'd like so. And as always, your reminders is still here too. You have the ability to change your email and text message templates with your macros here on the left-hand side, okay? But 
here's a really cool part, and we're going to talk about this a little bit more, especially when we get to the Circle of Care. I can now scroll down, and I get a whole other set. Now, what are these for? Well, one of the biggest features with the Circle of Care, and this is something a lot of people have asked about, the Circle of Care will also allow you to send a notifications to alternate contacts and linked accounts for the client who's booked. We'll go into more detail in that particular video, but to put it bluntly, if Michael has a session and David is his father but isn't a client or isn't an attendee, you can still send a notification to David letting him know his appointment is coming up. That is now built into the system, and we'll talk about that when we get there as well. Your notes templates, of course, we still have your notes templates. You just click on one of these, you edit them, and it gives you the, the, the notes editor. You notice we do have a revamped text editor. A lot of people have noticed there have been uh, little glitches here and there with formatting with our old system. We've actually rebuilt the notes editor completely from scratch. Our old system was aging, it was getting a little bit old, and we decided we were going to do something nice. This is brand new cutting-edge technology that we're using to bring in a whole new notes editor, and it will play friendly with your existing uh, notes so you don't have to worry about that, uh, but it is a lot cleaner with a lot more functionality and a lot more possibility to add new features as we go forward, okay? This editor is the same thing you'll see in the notes itself, so feel free to play around with that. Let us know how you like it. We have some great ideas of how to go with that moving forward. And of course, as always, ways to add a new note template, just click the plus up here in the top right. It'll give you the ability to add a new note template, just like that. And finally, user access is largely the same as it was if you are in group edition. You simply choose the option, edit the list, and it will show you the, uh, the user themselves, making it nice and easy for you to easily maintain and monitor your users. So that's your settings. Uh, pretty simple on how to work, so I think we've come to the end of showing you the entirety of the OWL interface. Uh, I will now follow up with other videos showing you the specific feature upgrades that really come in handy going forward. In particular, we're talking about the circle of care, we're talking about tax breakout, and we're talking about service discounts. If you're interested in all of them, there's a link on the screen here to show you how to get to the video. For those watching on mobile, it's in the video description as well. But we do have the videos here, and we also have some documentation to help walk you through it too. Okay? So thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, enjoy using the OWL system. And as we mentioned earlier, please do not hesitate to send us any feedback to beta at owlpractice.ca. Okay? We'll be working on this for a week, so we absolutely want to hear from you. Let us know, and we'll be making tweaks throughout the week so you'll continuously see the system enhancing as we continue to make changes. Thanks a lot, everybody, and we'll move on to the special features next.